Hey everybody, KI6NAZ Josh. My voice is going out a little bit. We just finished the stream. I am going to edit the stream a little bit and do a standalone. We had a problem with the USB hub to do WinLink connection to my computer. It's the same hub that the, my microphone is connected into that I was talking on during the live stream. So you're not going to have this problem. Your USB cable is going to be fine. So I've snipped that portion of it out. Everything before and after that is going to be good. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. On with the show. Um, I am using my 7300 to do this right now. I initially wanted to start out to use the FT891. The problem is you need two things. You need a USB of some kind or some other connection to do cat control, which is the computer assisted terminal, I believe. And uh, in the case of the FT891 by Yesu, which is this guy, lovely right here with the rails, who knew rails? It works with USB for the cat control, but it doesn't do what the 7300 does. Hey, Tim Snyder, thank you, buddy. I appreciate the support. What the 891 doesn't do that the 7300 does is have an embedded audio interface on the same USB connection. So on the 7300, when you plug the USB in, you get the cat control and you get the audio, the receive and the transmit. One cable gets it all done. The FT891 and most other radios need two different things. They need a cat control to PTT the radio and control it if you're going to move around frequencies. And then they also need a separate audio interface. So very quickly, let me show you. Um, this is what I have on order, which is a device that just splits out the audio. So that's the FT891 uh, adapter connector, the little DIN. I believe it's a six pin connector that goes on the back to two audio jacks. And that goes to, I have one in front of me here, that goes to a USB sound card. And that's the simplest way you can do that. Um, I have one of them on the Ham Radio Crash Course store on Amazon. There's a link in the description. This is, what, $9? And that's what allows you a separate USB interface to the computer. What you don't want is to have your audio connection going to like your headphone jack or your microphone jack because anything that plays on the desktop is going to be um oh nice ethan said that seller k6 vhf will make custom cables so very good if you use a usb interface you have a separate usb device and so that you can control the volume and different settings in the windows software or whatever native os you're using which is much easier than connecting to the speaker jack or the microphone jack. So make sure you go get something like that. Um, or you can just uh, use the 7300. Go buy one of those. A step up from that would be a signal link. And a signal link is basically a go-between for the audio interface portion of the radio connection. The nice thing about the signal link is these little dials in the front are actually manual controls for the volume and the transmit volume so that you can really fine tune in your radio without having to go fiddle with Windows or whatever operating systems, the you know virtual sliders. That's not great. Um, it's not, it's a signal link USB. But anyway, those uh, are probably the best way to go. Sig, oh, okay. <laughs> it's Sig, no, link, doesn't matter. If you type that in, you'll find it. Type in signal, signal link or signal ink uh, USB and it'll come up if you Google it or it's on Amazon. But anyway, it's what allows you to basically control the volume and it does the USB connection to whatever your DIN connection is on the back of the radio for audio. So you're going to need that for all kinds of digital modes and it makes your life a little bit easier. So you can think about getting that. Let's go back to the desk. So I have my, I'm going to move the mic for a second. I have my 7300 here. Uh, I'm not on any particular band right now. We'll work that out with um, WinLink software. But I do want to mention that if you do have this radio, I like to put it, click menu and click meter. And then you can see the meter displays for your SWR, your ALC, and the power output, which you're going to want to monitor as you're doing any kind of digital mode. Because the software is going to jump around for you. It's going to make the radio move through its cat control. So you don't really need to spend much time looking at the waterfall, for example, even though if you want to do that, you can. All right, so let's let's run this signal. I'm sorry, WinLink Express. 
So, oh, you know what? No, let me go back. I want to show you when link. All right. So the WinLink website is winlink.org. The description, it's in the description if you want to check that out. And this is where you go to download the software for WinLink. It's pretty easy. You just go to download. Oh, WinLink Express Standard. Okay. Hey, software updated. And you can do the download there. Um, if you scroll down, there will be the blog. To be honest, uh, WinLink is a very straightforward um, setup. It's very reminiscent of the WSJTX, so if you've been able to set that up, you will do pretty good at it. I noticed that I didn't mention... Yeah, I am uh, KI6NAZ at winlink.org. We're going to go live with WinLink in a second, so if somebody wants to send me an email through that email address, now would be a good time to use that. Jim asks, why would I use WinLink? Um, lots of reasons. One of the easiest ones, is, ones to mention is emergency situations. Recently, there were you know disasters where information has to get exchanged between like first responders and a hospital that people are going to, and they don't have traditional comms. So what they'll do is they'll actually email patient info via WinLink. It's it's very handy for that. Uh, you'll find that there are a lot of Envis application, close in vertical. Skywave inductance type stuff that allows for really good emergency preparedness. People that are on sailboats or people that are going around the country in an expedition will definitely be without signal, but you can still do uh, email over WinLink. So that's a totally good reason to use WinLink. I know that uh, Julian, O H A S T N, he uses WinLink, and so do some of the other uh, Twitter friends, the Ham Radio Twitter friends. So if you aren't on Ham Radio um, Twitter, basically go on Twitter and start looking up Ham Radio people like me, and you'll get all kinds of other uh, hams, and they're all pretty active. So I just wanted to mention that. I call that the Ham Radio Twitter. So go download WinLink. It's very straightforward for Windows in this case, and you run it, and this is what it looks like. So very no frills type application here. I got an email from 86DM the other day. I uh, can't really make this bigger. Can I make this bigger? Let's see. Can I roll the wheel? No. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> stay calm right on. Emailing patient records. Yikes. The HIPAA Nazis will catch you. So that's a really great question because somebody asked me about that. I was outside the HRO, and they were talking about using WinLink over HF. And I was like, man, how do you handle the privacy laws? And they're like, well, it's kind of a gray area right now because it's – they didn't call it encrypted, but it's obscured because it's in digital. And you – I don't know that it qualifies in an emergency situation. Plus, it's not um, – I guess they try to keep the information at a minimum. I'm really not prepared to talk on that subject, though. I'm going to talk about how to set this up. So we're going to use two modes. Um, yeah, Zach just mentioned it in the chat, too. I was going to hit that. We're going to be talking HF using my 7300, but WinLink is also VHF, UHF, packet radio. Any way you can interface or send that data through a radio, you can technically use WinLink to pass it and receive it. So keep that in mind. In fact, what we're going to be talking about this ADOP, uh, AR, sorry, RDOP or ARDOP, is a new standard for WinLink that will technically work on HF and VHF. Can Win uh, ID five one three one two eight ask? Can WinLink use some encryption like PGP? No, no, it cannot. Um, you're not supposed to use encryption at all on amateur radio. You cannot obscure through encryption any of your transmissions. Um, Ryan Pog says, in a life or death situation, I wouldn't care about HIPAA if it's going to save my life. It's kind of a good point. Yeah. Yeah, same thing with monitoring EMS. Yeah. Yep. Uh, K8MRD, be careful with uh, Part 97. WinLink stuff, you don't want to use it for business purposes. Correct, yes, indeed. Uh, good point, Zach. You can use PGP, technically, but it is not 
legal within the FCC rules. That is a very good distinction. Technically, it is possible, but you should not. So um, you basically, the, the app that comes up when you start it is just the email app. It, some of this stuff, I just filled in the WinLink Express setup, and I left that alone. Let's see. I left most of this stuff alone because you really don't need a lot of it. What you're going to do is you're going to click on one of these drop downs. Now, there's a couple of different options. There's Telnet, Packet, Pactor, Robust, Winmore, RDOP, Vara, Vara FM, and Iridium. Those are all the mechanisms in which you can exchange data over WinLink. So you can use Telnet if you want to go direct via the internet. You can use Packet, which is largely VHF. You can use Pactor, which um, I believe can do both, but primarily HF. What we're going to be talking though is Winmore and RDOP, or A-R-D-O-P, which is the new, call it new mode, new digital mode that's used for WinLink. It also has other uses. It's related to VARA. Um, but anyway, it's in it's included in the WinLink Express software now. It's brand new, so ARDP is probably what we'll finish the chat out with. WinLink Express setup. If you click that and you go to the right hand corner, there's a button to click to activate the beta software, and that's what allows you the ARDOP. So if you want to do this, you need to click that, and it will immediately ask you to install an update. You're going to need an internet connection to do this, and you just go ahead and push the install and you'll uh, basically be able to do ARDP. But we'll start with the old school way. We'll go to Winmore. So you select Winmore from the session, and you click this little thing that looks like uh, two arrows stacked on top of each other going that way. Click that, and you'll get a new window. You get two new windows, actually. Great, the neighbors have the, the neighbors are home. So this is kind of your, uh, the larger window is your current session information and the one on the right or the left sorry to you is the Winmore sound card TNC basically so what you're gonna do here is if you're setting this up for the first time you're gonna go to the Winmore link session click settings you're gonna go to Winmore TNC setup now from here oh my audio's all screwed up if you have a USB interface like a signal link or signal ink then you would select that from the drop down. Make sure you remember what your interfaces are. In this case, the playback device for me is the microphone, the USB audio codec that is for the ICOM, and the playback device is the speakers for the USB audio codec. So you select that. Um, in my case, I am only doing 1600 for the bandwidth hertz, and you click update, and it will cycle. The radio just kicked on, so we know that's working. Then you're going to go to radio setup. Uh, in my case, I preset this up for a 7300. It's very simple. Very. This is very reminiscent of WSJTX. I am using upper sideband for digital. COM3 is the USB port. I want to connect it 9600 baud. No RTS, no DTR, and the PTT port is also the 7300, so I'm going to close that because I know it already works. Okay. Channel selection is the next button you're going to click, which is on the uh, WinLink. Let me go back. So on the WinLink session right there, that session window, you're going to click Channel Selection. And you'll get this cool list of stations. So this is updated via the internet, if you have internet connection. But you can also update this via a connection to a remote station via WinLink. You kind of have to do it once, and then you can keep updating it through HF if you don't have internet connection, which is really nice. So how you do that is you just update table via internet. Click that now. Boom. It'll go off and do it. This takes a little while. I probably shouldn't have done that. I could have just said click the button and then... Uh, Zach, exactly, says it takes 15 to 120 minutes. Now, that is true because we are talking about very slow data rates. Particularly for Winmore, you can see right here, um, very fast. Okay, we're already updated. So what it's going to try and do, in this case, you can sort on different columns. I'm sorting by distance. Sorting by distance can be um, problematic. If you don't have an Envis antenna, this station, 37 kilometers from me, 
I would be able to kick butt to that guy, except I don't have Envis, and they may not either. So I, I can't work them. I've tried, doesn't work. So I generally, uh, the one that's selected, this SDR, 612 kilometers from me, that's the guy I end up using. Uh, I believe that was the one I used last time because it was around 40. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and select him. Now, on the right-hand side, you've got the green numbers and the red numbers and the yellow numbers. That's basically calculating the time of day where you're at, what the sun cycle is at, which I think we're at like a 71 right now for the sun cycle value. And so it will basically try and tell you, I think that this would be a better way to go. And we'll go through how it tries to show you that because there's some options you can click that will pick the next best node if you can't get the one you want. So we're going to go to K6 SDR. So now K6 SDR is populated in the, the name tag there, and the center frequency is listed here along with the dial frequency. Okay, so I didn't do any of that. I just double clicked it and that did it. Uh, we're still looking good on the left hand side. In fact, let me turn on the audio. I'm going to tune my radio. Already tuned. So we are technically. Somebody's CWing on top of me. So there's a good, uh, that is a good time to mention <laughs> that the Winmore Winlink tries to let you know if it thinks the channel is busy. You'll get a little, we're not seeing it right now, but you'll, this busy detector won't say, it'll say busy in use or something like that. So if it says that, don't hit start. But also, turn the radio up and listen for a little bit. That's, and that's digital. So we may want, might want to jump to another uh, station. Ah, Zach says, if you update via radio, there's an option to only show nodes that you can get a connection to. That is a great thing to do, because it takes a long time. Okay, so it's quiet again, right? We're going to go ahead and hit start. Immediately keys the radio, and we'll start seeing activity on the left-hand side, hopefully. Come on, KX7X. Ah! Come on! We got it! Here we go. Maybe? Yes! Okay. There you go. Need more power! Yeah, um... Thanks. It just takes a little time, but it'll work. <laughs> a better a better antenna a little bit higher would be able to do it, but I literally have this thing maybe up about 35 feet and then just straight down and then snaked all around the outside of my uh, house. So what you'll notice is the, um, the pattern. This is not the high data rate pattern since this is Winmore. We'll switch back over to uh, the other mode. Yeah, this is literally dial-up. Not even 28.8. This is like 14.4, baby. Yeah, XX. The reason I'm not using the hex beam is the hex beam is a DX antenna. I'm not trying to DX Winlink. I, you don't know what the other stations have. So you want to keep the contacts closer. You don't want to be trying to make long-distance contacts if you can avoid it. You can, but... Since you don't know what other people have, you, you might not want to risk it. Okay. What am I getting them at? They're an S7 to me. I don't need to send, I want to receive. I want all my emails. Wow, there you go. I just sent you a message to your Winlink email using JS8 call APRS email on 40 meters. That is a thing that might not have ever been said in human history. <laughs> Are we receiving now? Hey, I got one. Somebody said... Good topic on the chat side. Winlink, Colorado Ham. WL2K. KE6VRL. 
Greetings from Tennessee. They're coming in, guys. Let me move the call in box. There we go. Oh, okay. Let me turn it down. So you get the idea. You don't need to hear the, the noise. We've got connection. That's what matters. I'm just trying to give you the real feel, the real experience of it. Yeah, right? It's a war games modem where you take the handset and you slam it down on top of the, uh, the receiver. Oh! Why did the, uh... There we go. If anybody tried to call in, it might not have worked. I don't know why. It logged me out. So, call back in if you want to. 300 baud, man. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I see it. Via 40 meter JSA call APRS email. By the way, KH2SR, we worked each other on uh, FT8 yesterday. And I, I saw your tweet. That was awesome. So, I love that. This is not good. This is not good. Actually, uh, in compared to other, I guess, $3 beers that you could buy, a Scotch Ale, not bad for three. It was like three to four. I think it was $4 out the door with tax. So, James, I know you as Quirky QRP. I don't really know your call sign. So I, I, I worked you, and then I was like, I felt like you called me back a couple of times, and I, I had stepped away, and I came back. And I was like, oh, this guy sent me something. So I tried it again, and, and it looks like that went through. But, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's myself. I sent myself email. They're going to ban me from this service. Ryan Pogue says, I'm going to mail you a treehouse beer. Right on. Do it. Uh, when I went to when I went back east to Virginia, we don't have Yingling out here, and my wife was like, "People keep talking from the East Coast. They keep talking about Yingling. Just send me some Yingling." I'm like, "Okokay." So I <laughs> I went to the, I went to the store, bought a 12 pack of Yingling, took a USPS box, and just dumped them in there. Just just dumped it and crammed them, packed them in as much as possible. No padding. Just shoved them in there, and then just taped like almost the entire roll around everything. And then shipped it. And K8MRD radio stuff, Yingling is way overrated. Except if you ask yourself, what $1 beer would you rather drink? $1 for a Yingling in a lot of cases. If you During a happy hour, you can get Yinglings for like a buck right now. Or at least it was three years, four years ago when I was out in the East Coast a lot. Um, I don't know. No, I'd rather have... No, no, not a Rolling Rock or a Molson for a buck. I'd rather have a Yingling Amber for sure. Not the Lager, the Amber. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting it. Wow, we got a lot of email. It's not updating the, the, the app yet, so I guess we got to wait. That's kind of offensive. St. Ides, huh? Hmm. Does Colin work down here? I guess I can go right there. Yeah, but you're you're all talking Russian River. Yeah, absolutely. That's all way more expensive than a buck. Canoe beer, lawnmower beer. Yeah, I I I don't drink much of that anymore. Hey, there we go. Okay. So let's see. Ke six VRL. Good topic. Thanks for the info. Km four A C K ack. I like that. You you definitely got to do some satellite work and some some a wind link with that call sign. Thanks for the great show. Greetings from Tennessee, right on. Colorado Ham, my buddy. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate that. So, okay. So, let's, uh, I don't know if we're receiving anymore. Are we still getting? We're receiving right now. So, let's just wait. I don't know what we're receiving yet. I feel like the data packets are already complete. Okay. Alex Johnson says, my go-to cheap beer is PBR. Eh. Yeah, it's okay. It's real cheap, though. 
the YouTube video, the ad with the dude wearing the uh, American T-shirt, you know, the American flag T-shirt, is possibly one of the funniest things. Okay, we'll go radio silent now. It's getting a little annoying. So I don't know what it's uh, waiting for. Labatt Blue Citra IPA. Um, oh, we got more coming in. Australia. Hi from Australia. Sending you this email from Winlink, which I use in outback areas and remote areas of Australia. There is yet another reason why you may want to use Winlink. Love the videos and thank you. That's terrific, Tony. VK3TNL. Awesome. I am. Thank you for that. That's great. Hey, Josh, thought I would send you a test email to make sure everything is working both your end and mine. Hope everything grows great with the stream. Okay, so um, I'm going to do a quick, uh, let's, uh, let's see. I thought there was a way. Message acknowledgement. That's what I want. So I want to post that to out. Oh, there it happened. This is one of the downsides of this app. I don't know why this happens. But it goes all font small on me. So now you can't read the font, I bet. So I'm going to do a message acknowledgement for uh, most of these really fast, and then we'll reopen it. Oh, man. Winlink will kill ham <laughs> radio if you believe that dissenting article you linked in your enhanced tech privilege live stream. Yes, uh, the, the tech enhancement. The owner of that blog uh, hates Winlink thinks that it's it's people are just going to get their license so that they can go tour the world the the rich sailboat uh captains of the world are just going to use winlink to avoid having to pay for email matthew kinney asks i tried to sign up and i need to pay for it not to to demonstrate it not to try it out only after you like it and find a use for it then you can go ahead and pay for it Technically, this is a contact. I guess I owe you all QSL cards. It says don't reply to this one, though, so I'm not going to be able to reply to you, James. Okay, so that means I got seven in the outbox. Um, I'm still receiving, it looks like, so I'm going to wait because I want to I want to close this and restart it because the font's just totally gone. Zach, it won't work. It will not work, buddy. I right, hold control. Does nothing. Spin that wheel, baby. I don't think so. Nope. Yeah, it's totally a weird thing with this app. It's the third time it's done it. I haven't fig I haven't targeted exactly why it happens, but you can see it doesn't change the TNC. The TNC. Do you remember Net Zero? Pepperidge Farm remembers. In big in it. Yes, Tony. In big in. I love that word. I absolutely love that word. Oh my God. What's? Oh, am I sending now? Wait. No. These are all outbox. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm going to stop. Okay, thank you, buddy. So we've received everything. I'm going to click the stop button. I'm going to let it disconnect. I'm not going to abort. I'm going to stop because it'll save my call at the end. Doing the right ham radio thing. Sending my ID and CW. All right. So 13 minutes. Okay. Uh... 13 minutes, it was 11, 10, 23 bytes. So 1,023 bytes a minute. Yikes. That is not a lot. Okay, let me close this really fast so I can reopen it and you'll watch. Everything will go back to normal. What a pain. Okay. Now, I'm going to switch over to RDOP. Now that we know we can hit this guy. I don't know why you went all the way down there. Bruh. Oh my god, everything's all cattywampus. There we go. Okay. All right. Man. All right, we got it back. We're going to go back to the same guy. Uh, no, we want my bro. It says channel busy. See, you can see that? Channel busy. KE8HWD. I don't know. I don't know. I need to make time to do digital. I have a signal, a signal link. I just haven't had time. You know, let me tell you, you'll spend a little bit of time up front to make it work. And then once you get it working, 
it's really easy. It's really straightforward. You can just sit down and then boom. It, it makes it it makes it really easy. So absolutely try it out. Jeff Burlington trying to bring up all the old email services he could he could ever think of. Are we good yet with this thing? What's going on with this channel? Okay. We switched to ARDOP. Here we go. Okay. Now, same thing now, but we are on RDOP. So the sound's going to be a bit different. Much different. You thought it sounded like a modem from the internet before. I loved ICQ. I loved ICQ. I used ICQ a lot. This is the internet. ARDOP. And that's it. So I just acknowledged all those emails. Okay. So we received all the emails on Winmore, and we did the um, the acknowledgement on ARDOP. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Nobody's going to call in, I guess. That's okay. We're going to go over the Discord soon anyway, right? Uh, yes, Ham Nation and W5KUB still uses IRC. It's a modified version of IRC, but yeah. Um, okay. So that took a little, <laughs> took a little bit longer than I expected. Every time you turn the stream on, every time, it gives you, um, something interesting. Anytime you do digital modes. I, I just start doing CW videos because, I, I don't know, I just do CW videos from now on. I just need a key. Just the radio and a wire. And that's all I need. All right. So we're going to hop over to Discord here shortly. Do the after chat, which is going to be a lot of fun. The email is still good. KI6NAZ on winlink.org. Try it out. I, I think at least try it out. You'll have fun with it. The, um, the software is not difficult as long as you're not trying to run a live stream at the same time, which, you know, a lot of people aren't. And I, I respect that. Um. <laughs> SSTV is a great digital mode for you to get banned on YouTube. Yes, <laughs> that is true. Indeed. Um, anybody who wants to follow, take the Discord link above me or in the description. It is a IRC chat room. What you want to do is you click that link, you join, and you go to live stream down at the bottom. Scroll down on the left-hand side, all those chat rooms. Scroll down to live stream. Click on the thing that says hashtag live stream, and then click on the other one that's like a voice or a microphone, and that is uh, for talking. And that's where I will be talking in about five minutes. So I'll meet you over there, okay? <laughs> What's that? May the sunspots be with you. I love it. All right, guys, take it easy. Play me out. <laughs>